Hi, yeah, my name's Neil, and uh, I'm a minister in Edinburgh. I've got myself a wee studio set up here, so I've got my flowers beside me to kind of provide something that looks nice. I'm doing fine, my hair's a little longer than it usually is. Um, I've stood my glasses a few times and I can't get them fixed, so they keep sliding down my face and they need to be pushed back up. Um, just taking a few moments to share with you the hope that Jesus offers us in a season like this. Uh, it's a season where we've all had our lives disrupted massively and the things, the assumptions that we have about life have been really challenged. A lot of time I just cruise along thinking that our wealth and technology will insulate us from the, the worst of life. But that's not been the case. Uh, this is impacting all of us and we realise that wealth, technology, progress doesn't carry the guarantees that we thought it did. Some of us have to make difficult decisions, uh, have hard conversations where a lot of us are more anxious. And the issue of death has intruded itself into our reality. So that's a huge shift for most of us, a really difficult shift. And as a Christian, I really want to say that in that situation, Jesus is my rock. He's my helper. He's my strength. He's my friend. His presence, his love, give me a real sense of peace and hope and security. So our hope in hard times comes when we know that we're held in the hands of Jesus. There's a, a book at the end of the Bible called the Book of Revelation and in the first chapter of the book of Revelation, there's a, a, a verse that I want to read to you. And it just goes like this. It says, do not be afraid. I am the first and the last. I am the living one. I was dead and now look, I am alive forever and ever. And I hold the key of death and of Hades. I've got a good lifelong friend uh, and one of the reasons he's my friend is that he's got a passion for fast cars. And um, he had a, a really beautiful Porsche 911 Twin Turbo for a few years. And uh, sadly, he didn't actually ever just chuck me the keys and say, there you go, Neil, take it for a blast, do what you want. He didn't have quite enough confidence in my driving skills. So things that are really precious to us, we only trust the keys to them to people that we really trust. Um, you don't give your house keys to somebody if you don't really trust them. Well, God trusts the keys of death and Hades to Jesus Christ. Because Jesus is the risen one who is alive forevermore. Jesus is the one who has defeated the power of death and hell and who offers new life, eternal life, to every day who follows him. Jesus is the one we can trust in hard times. It doesn't mean that we don't have any hard times if we become a Christian. John the Apostle writes from exile on the island of Patmos. He writes to Christians who are going through persecution, losing their income, which is familiar to us, and losing home and family. Maybe even losing their life. So it's a, it's a really horrible situation they're in. What does John offer them? He doesn't offer an escape pod, a way to another reality. He doesn't offer magic, saying none of these things can touch you. He doesn't offer them a second home in the country either, does he? Saying off you go, wait there till the crisis is over. But what he offers is a vision of Jesus Christ. And it's an amazing vision of the power of Jesus over all of life, all of history, all of humanity, and of the power of Jesus to help us in hard times. I am the first and the last. There's power in Jesus. And there's presence with Jesus. Jesus is not just offering us a solution or help. He's offering us himself. Don't be afraid, he says, I'm with you. I hold you in my hand. Christians take great comfort in this season, not because things are easier for us, but because 
we have Jesus with us. And it's his presence that makes all the difference. And there's a permanence to that. I am alive forever and ever. So there's not a lot that feels certain right now in the world we're living in. But Jesus is certain. He is trustworthy. And what he offers lasts forever. So I want to just point you towards Jesus Christ as the one who holds us in his hand and who is our helper.